Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that some of these videos of sharing recipes, meal ideas, or uh, the freezer meals that I've done has been helpful or encouraging during this time. I am back with another voiceover for an old video. Uh, this is a beef stew that my family really enjoys and everyone that I've served it to really enjoys. Uh, it is super simple and I hope that it inspires you to uh, do something similar or, or just to get in the kitchen, maybe with your kiddos, the rest of your family, and put something together that you can all share in and enjoy together. So let's get to the voiceover. Okay, here we are with the video. I am showing you my ingredients here, potatoes, onions, diced tomatoes, green beans, peas, carrots, corn, ground beef. Obviously, you can use whatever meat you prefer. Starting here with the onion, I'm gonna dice it pretty small just so that it mixes in with the meat really well. And at this point, I really question what I'm doing. So, we're doing a shortcut. Start with sauteing the onions. Well, I start with sauteing the onions because I, I like very cooked onions. Uh, you can add a steak at this point, cube steak, or a roast that you've chopped up. You can even make this chicken. You can leave out the meat completely and add beans for your protein. It's very versatile and usually always comes out delicious. Of course, I've added my favorites, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. And I want to brown the meat up here really well so that a fond builds on the pot and uh, just develops lots of flavor. Chopping up my potato here and again, what am I doing? And here it is, all cubed up, ready to go. I add my can of diced tomatoes and two cans of water. Soon I'm gonna switch my pot because uh, I was making a lot and this was not big enough. So here I added the packet of uh, beef stew seasoning. You do not have to do that, it's just something I had on hand. Added the potatoes and I'm gonna let this simmer for a good little while. And I'm adding in canned carrots green beans, lots of green beans. I love green beans in a stew. I'm adding in frozen corn. Something else that I like to add is hominy. Okay, this simmers for quite some time, 30 to 40 minutes. I really like those green beans to become tender and taste at this point for whatever seasonings you may need and let those potatoes cook down to where they're nice and tender. And that is really about it, folks. I'm sure that I added a little bit more seasoning, probably more garlic powder and onion powder, uh, maybe even a little basil at this point or, or more parsley. So it's up to you, just season it how you like it. And this is so delicious. I know it's warming up outside, but it's all about easy dinners right now and spending time with your family. Thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it was quick. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Please like the video, share the video if you think someone could benefit from this. Um, stay strong out there, guys. I know things are weird, times are very questionable right now. I have felt, I have felt strange just not having a normal schedule. Nothing has been really difficult for us, uh, just, it's just weird. It's weird having 
everything going on right now. Um, my prayers are with you. I hope you're doing well, and we'll see you in the next one.